is hot. Hello, good morning, happy, what day is it? Friday, oh my God, it's Friday. <laughs> I've been like just so out of it this past week. It is 11 in the morning and it's already 90 degrees. In the last few days in a row, I have just been like feeling very blah and not caring about myself and not wanting to take care of myself. And today I was like, okay, I gotta go to work. I need to pull myself together. Let me wash my hair, blow it out, put on some makeup. Cause I always find that like, when I'm in that kind of mood where I just feel very blah and I don't want to do anything and I don't have like the energy to get out of bed, forcing myself to get up, take a shower and pull myself together and like look nice and more presentable, it usually makes me feel better and then I end up having better, more productive days because like I'm just, I feel good about myself. So I am currently on my way to the salon. I have one client at 12 o'clock and she's a new client, which I get new clients pretty often because majority of the services that I do are like big color transformations and they're typically like low maintenance colors. So I don't see my clients more than just like a few times a year. Like there are very few that I am seeing on a regular like four to six week basis. So majority of my clients are new clients usually, but every so often I get a little nervous depending on what kind of person they are, what their personality is like, how, like you're not gonna always mesh with everyone. Probably because most people find me on social media and they have seen my videos and they have an idea of what my personality is like and they are similar to me and that's why they come to me. So I feel like most of the time it goes really smooth and it's a great experience, but every so often I have a new client and they either like had a bad experience in the past or something where, you know, it, it takes a while for them to trust me, which is fine and I get it, but it can be a little bit stressful for me as the stylist because I don't know, it, ju it just, puts a lot of pressure on you. Anyway, I'm rambling, but basically like when I have a new client, I don't know what they look like. I have no, I know nothing about them other than their name. So um, I never know what to expect basically um, is what I'm trying to say. So I have a new client today. I'm hoping that she's nice and that we click well and then it goes smoothly. So yeah, I have my client at 12 and then depending on what we end up doing with her hair and how long it's gonna take. I should have a pretty decent gap and, and my mom is going to come by and we're gonna do her color. I feel so bad. She's been desperately needing to refresh her color and I just haven't had time to do it. But today I figured I just have this one client in the afternoon so I can do her hair later today once she gets out of work. And during that gap of time that I have, I have some laundry that I am gonna run up to my parents' house and just throw in the wash. I guess I should have did that before I left for work. I didn't manage my time properly this morning. <laughs> just got to the salon. I have about like 25 minutes until my client is supposed to get here. So I'm gonna go in and get everything set up and ready for her. Fingers crossed that she's nice. Oh no, who's that? Oh my god! Puppy pile! She's like, get away from my babies. He looks humongous next to him. He is compared to his sister. Really? Who just bulldozes them. And like flattens them with their paws. And I love that they're not I truly work at the best salon ever. So my boss works at our local animal shelter. She fosters dogs pretty regularly. And her thing recently has been fostering pregnant dogs. <laughs> and then they give birth at her house. So that's actually how I got Benny. Um, she was fostering his mom. And then his litter was born at her house. And I couldn't resist and I ended up adopting him. 
and now she had another dog the one that you saw when we first walked in and she had this litter and they are now six or seven weeks old they're so cute by the time you're seeing this they probably already have gotten adopted i'm pretty sure they already have applications in for them so yeah so cute now it's time to grab everything i need for my client just grabbing my framar detangling brush a foiling comb a regular comb and some clips So my client actually ended up being super nice so i'm glad that it went well like i said it usually goes very smoothly but i just i don't know i still sometimes get that occasional nervousness but yeah she had some gray roots and she said that she had just been like touching them up with box dye for the last like two years or so um because she travels a lot for work and then covid happened and everything but luckily it wasn't like layered up in her hair she wasn't like pulling it all the way through but she did have like it was a little bit uneven in some spots and she was just looking for something a little bit different but still low maintenance so we talked about you know what would work for her what she likes what she doesn't like so i decided to cover up her roots with permanent color she's fine with having to come in every month or so to do that um, but we went with a little bit of like a warmer more medium brown and then i just painted a few pieces just to kind of break up the darkness on the ends and to just give her like a nice sun-kissed look she was really happy with it it came out really beautiful and it's just crazy like what a big difference something so small can make because i really only did maybe like six panels on her. Like it was a very quick appointment. Okay, so I just threw in my first load of laundry. I got two, maybe three loads to do. I figured rather than just like hanging out at the salon and killing time there. I would just come here, get that started. So put the first load to wash now. Now I'm gonna head back to the salon, do my mom's hair. Today is Saturday. Normally I would have work at the salon, but this week it's like, I don't know, it's like a weird transitional week. I talk about, I've talked about this before, but when you work in a salon, you have your really busy seasons and then you have your really slow seasons. And there will be times during the year where I am completely fully booked back to back for like an entire month plus. And then there will be other times where I'll only have a handful of people for the entire week so today i didn't have anybody on my schedule and we're by appointment only so if i don't have anybody on my schedule there's no point in me going in so today i wanted to take advantage of this day and also take advantage of the fact that i have clean hair film a video or two for youtube do an instagram reel <sighs> so yeah let me finally pull my ass out of bed Okay, makeup is done. I just put on this like boxy white tee from H&M. I just ordered a new pair of earrings from the XIXI 
jewelry line, which is by Adrienne Bylone, or now Adrienne Houghton. I have been a fan of hers since I was a kid, since the 3LW days. I just love her style. I love her entire look. She is so cute. And she has a jewelry line now. I saw these earrings and I was like, wow those are really cute not sponsored i paid for these with my own money they actually were really reasonable i thought her line for some reason was going to be like really expensive but everything um i guess it's all like gold plated jewelry so everything is really reasonable these earrings i want to say were around like 30 dollars so cute and i love them because they're kind of like twisted up so they're a little bit different than just like regular plain hoops but they're like a really good staple piece and they feel like really good quality they don't feel like super lightweight and flimsy and cheap but they're also not like crazy heavy that i feel like they'll hurt my ears i feel like they'll be comfortable to wear all day but we'll see i'll keep you guys updated oh and look how like the box that the earrings came in is so nice too i'll put a link to these earrings in the description if you want to get them like i said not sponsored at all hello hello good afternoon it's many days later it is thursday today update on the earrings before i forget they are actually super comfortable seems like the quality is great i wore them almost every day since the last time i vlogged on saturday i'm currently on my way to the salon I only have one client today and she is a new client she came in a few weeks ago for a consultation so i already met her i already know exactly what we're doing the goals everything um so that's good it takes like the anxiousness that i was talking about earlier in the vlog away and it should be pretty fun we're gonna do like a red balayage so i will see you at the salon just got to the salon my client isn't scheduled to come in for another half hour but i normally like getting here a little bit early just so that way i can make sure everything is like clean and ready to go and that i have um everything set up i hate like arriving at the same time as my client or even worse after them because <laughs> i just i don't know i don't like how that feels i feel like it's unprofessional so i like to be here and be ready so i got my framar detangling brush use that on basically every client a round brush for when it's time to blow dry her a comb i'm pretty sure we are trimming her hair so comb for that some clips and then a foiling comb her hair is already lightened on the ends she has like kind of a grown out balayage already so we're just going to do a partial foil to bring the light pieces up a little bit higher and make it, you know, like refreshed and really blended. And then we're just going to throw a red toner on top of that um, because she wants to be red, but she also wants something that's going to grow out nicely and not have like a harsh line of demarcation. Why is it that when I have nowhere to go and I'm just like hopping in the shower at night, I can throw my hair in like the cutest most effortless messy bun no problem and then when i am trying to go somewhere it takes like a million tries it's saturday morning i am getting ready to go work at the salon i just have one client today thank god and then after work i'm gonna hang out with one of my friends and we're gonna go to a winery so i'm very excited looking forward to that and to be honest i kind of need to hurry up because i need to leave in the next like 10 minutes but in this vlog i wanted to talk about burnout because no fail every time i do a q a i get questions about this topic like how do i deal with burnout do i ever experience it what do i do etc and i figured since i have been experiencing it recently why don't i just vlog and share how i feel about it and what i do in the moment because i feel like that's more helpful and more relatable than me just like sitting down and giving you like a 30 second answer an explanation you know i'll meet you in the car guys let's talk about burnout it it happens to me at least a few times a year i want to say um and i feel like there's different kinds of burnout like you can feel burnt out because maybe you just aren't 
establishing strong enough boundaries with your clients or even people in your personal life and maybe people are taking advantage of that and you feel like you're constantly getting stepped all over and it's just like completely ripping at your soul and exhausting you you could feel burnt out because maybe you're doing a lot of services that you just really don't like or you're having to deal with clients that aren't the right fit for you honestly for me uh, especially as someone that's like naturally more introverted the most exhausting part of this job is not even like the actual physical aspect of like being on my feet it's like the mental and emotional exhaustion of just dealing with so many different kinds of people and there's some clients that you have that you just get along with so well and you feel like you're hanging out with a friend and it takes zero effort at all and then there's other clients that like yesterday I had a, one of those clients that I, I love her she's great she's really really sweet but I, I feel like I have to put in more effort and be more like on you know because she's older than me she's a mother like we're not we don't have like a lot of similar interests or anything so I feel like making conversation takes more effort and energy um and not in a bad way but it's just you know it, if you're an introvert too you get what I'm saying so maybe that's what's causing you burnout or it could just be that you are overworking yourself maybe you've been really really busy for like a few months straight and you haven't given yourself enough of a break and you haven't had time to just hit the reset button. The reason I've been feeling burnt out recently is because May and June especially were insanely busy for me. And I think what makes it even more exhausting just for me personally is majority of my clientele are new clients and they're like big color appointments. And I feel like constantly having new clients as you guys saw earlier in the vlog, like sometimes it does cause me a lot of anxiety. So I lately have just been feeling really tired, but luckily this whole month so far of July has been not totally dead, but definitely slower. The last like week or two, I've really just been trying to relax, put myself first, put my health and mental health first, and take advantage of the fact that I haven't been as busy with work um, and I think that's really important I think that whenever you're feeling burnt out you need to recognize what is it that's making you feel burnt out because like I said before there's a few different things that could be causing that feeling then figure out what do you need to do then to fix that because you can't run on fumes and it's not fair to you it's not good for your body and it's also not fair to your clients because I know that once I'm getting to a point where I'm feeling kind of burnt out I feel like I'm not giving a hundred percent of myself to my clients and I'm not doing my best work so that's why it's important we need that time to like reset and just rest that's uh how I experience burnout and what I do when I'm feeling that way so I just have one client today, like I said. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. I want to say the last time I saw her was in the fall, maybe? Early winter, something like that. But I'm going to run in now. She isn't here yet, so that's good. I'm going to run in and get everything set up. I just realized that I got a before clip of my client's hair, and I didn't get any clips during or after but i'll insert some pictures we ended up just doing a full foil she just wanted to bring everything up higher but it last time i did her hair it turns out was november so it's been quite a while so she did need a full head but now i am supposed to meet up with my friend to go get drinks in like two hours hour and a half two hours sorry the alarm is going off there's a firehouse down the street from the salon. Please hold. All right, the alarm finally stopped. But like I was saying, I have some time before I need to meet up with my friend for drinks. And I figure it's not really like enough time that it's worth me driving back home. 
So while I'm down here in town, I may as well just stay here. I did want to record a hair tutorial. So I figure while I'm here, I may as well take advantage, wash my hair, and then that way I can style it and film the tutorial all at once. I've shown you guys this a bunch of times before, how I shampoo my hair myself at the salon and the sink, but I'll share again. We got some new products at the salon. We started using Verb. I've been using it on clients for a while now, but I haven't tried any other shampoo and conditioner on my own hair, so I'm gonna use the Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. It smells really good. It's color safe, it detangles and softens, so I'm gonna try it on my hair for the first time. Definitely wanna wear a cape so I don't get the back of my dress soaked. And I like to pull the products over next to me so that I can reach them. That went pretty smoothly. I didn't even mess up my makeup. All right, I'm all done now. I styled my hair and I filmed my little tutorial. So I feel nice and accomplished and I'm officially done for the week now with work. And my hair feels and smells amazing. So I do, oh, actually, you know what? I wanted to spray a little dry oil from that same line, the Verb Ghost Dry Oil. Just makes your hair soft and adds a little bit of shine without like being too heavy. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Remember to take care of yourself. We all need a break every so often. We all need some time for self care. And honestly, even just doing this like all week, I had just been putting my hair up in a bun basically and didn't style it or anything and now having my hair clean and freshly styled and having some makeup on and like my cute little dress I just feel I feel really good I hope that you guys are doing amazing I hope that you have a great week and I'll see you in my next video bye